We all have possibility to open our third eye, to perceive things that are not tangible. When you're hearing this, you probably think, wait, but third eye, this is something related to uh, occultist things, to astrology, etc. No, this is just fact. And this is in all religions, but all re every lady religion describes it a little bit different. Because opening our third eye it's not like thing that you can see through your eyes that somebody had this additional eye. It doesn't work like that. Opening our third eye means that we are able to perceive reality on a different level, not only through our logical mind, through accumulation of our past, our experiences. It means that we are able to perceive, to sense things like energy. This is our third eye. Because we cannot perceive this with, uh, with our eyes, but through our third eye. So, before you open your third eye, you need to remember some things. Because this moment of opening your uh, third eye for the first time is not an easy thing. Because when you open your third eye, you begin to feel things that you were not feeling previously, or you were suppressing these feelings, and it will become strange for you. Because in everyday situations, you feel that something's different, that you are seeing things that you were not able to see before, and you will wonder what is happening. Opening your third eye means that you're coming closer to the truth. Because if we are constantly in our head, we are observing reality through our beliefs, through our thoughts, through what people were saying to us about world, we are not seeing truth in a hundred percent but when you are opening our third eye gradually you are opening ourselves for truth and truth is not always sweet at the beginning but it helps us tremendously to free ourselves from lies and to live according to our true nature with truth with consciousness with observation not only judging constantly before opening your third eye Everybody is feeling that everything is changing, even if they are staying and doing the same things every day. Because our perspective changes, and we cannot stop this. We can't stop this by artificial ways, for example, uh, quelling this our, ourselves with drugs, etc. But we should, not do it. we should not do this, because opening our third eye is a thing that is going to Bene gives us a lot of benefits in the long term, but you should not, we should not be focused on doing it in order to feel more pleasure in our life. Because we tend to be addicted to pleasure nowadays, because of social media, because of instant gratification. But not opening your third, our third eye is something completely different, and it's not going to give us instant gratification. It's going to make us feel worse for a long period of time, because we will, we will realize this dark side of life that we are not able to perceive, but also we will open for ourselves possibility to see this beautiful side of life that we are not able to perceive, because we are, pro, because we are preoccupied with observing world in a not proper way. See, if we are young people, if you are a child, people don't pay much attention to teach us how to perceive the world, how to think. They teach us a lot of unnecessary things, such as, you know, in school, these things later we don't even remember. And they don't teach us, for example, about our energy points in our body, how to make it work pro properly, how to increase our energy, how to develop our uh, emotional intelligence, these things are really crucial in life, and later, if we will master these basics, we can master other things, other hard skills, specific skills, much, much faster, if you can master this thing, this mechanism. And opening our third eye is one of the things that we need to experience in order to live more fulfilled life. Because in this way, we get also this understanding that each of us perceive this world, uh, this whole world, through beliefs, 
through thoughts, through emotions, but we have ability to perceive it from higher perspective, from perspective of observator. And this is our third eye, because our third eye can perceive directly without translating this word in your head and in order to fit in to your ego perspective. And when we see words for what it really is, we become more logical, and this is paradox, because we are not closed in our logic of mind, our, and we are not perceiving words through prism of our accumulation of experiences, of um, wounds, of positive experiences, etc. No, we are perceiving words through logic, but this is not directly logic, you know what I mean? We are not perceiving it through cutting something and describing it through in scientific way, but we are observing something just by solely putting our clear attention to something. This is magical. Because when we look, for example, at people and city, when we are meeting someone new through prism of our past, through our superstitions, there is no possibility that we will meet real person because we are meeting concepts in our head. And when you open your third eye, you notice that everybody is something more that you're thinking. This simple understanding can transform your whole friendships and relationships because you finally understand that these people are not concept in your head and you should not feed them in your mind into some categories because by judging other people we are limiting them in our head and later we perceive them not objectively. Of course, it helps us on a subconscious level, but when you open your third eye, you have distance to it and you don't treat your mind so seriously because you know that on the, from one side it's very intelligent, but it's also very limited through things that were put in our head since we are a child. And see, our emotions are also something very important because they communicate to us a lot of things. But, but and third, our intuition helps us to connect with our emotions. But here is a very valuable lesson that even though we open our third eye, we should not always be guided through our emotions because many times our emotions are also reflections um, are are going to us from thoughts from the past. For example, you experience something, there is thought created that is constantly repeating in your head, and with this, there is attached emotion. And in this way, you should not listen to your emotion, because this emotion is based on past, on your, your interpretation of what happened in the past. So, basically, every time, Every time that you read something about opening your third eye, remember that with this you need to take great responsibility for your life because this whole spiritual awakening process is something universal. It's not something that if you're a Muslim, you're a um, Christian, you're a Hindu, okay? The, all these religions have something beautiful. They have these rules, how to live more full-fledged life, how to reach these beautiful states, how to connect with God, how to be grateful that we are living. But in each religion, every person has possibility to experience this spiritual third eye awakening. But we need to just realize that in this way, we need to take full responsibility for ourselves and not quit what we are going through. Because you can start this process of opening your third eye and you can quit it because you're afraid that something's changing. Because naturally, nowadays, we are wired for comfort, not for happiness. So we are going, we want to feel more safe and we don't want to feel new things. We don't want changes because it's unknown and something bad can happen. Remember that through opening your third eye, nothing really bad will happen, but it's only changing your perspective and you need to open yourself that that word is not what you think.
and you can trans and when you understand that our thinking is limited you can open yourself for more objective perspective of world and you will perceive it more objectively and in a way that is going to be more beneficial for you and you're not going to create any more false superstitions about world you will not create more karma because you will perceive because your eyes will be clear and when you're looking at someone at something you'll not be judging it every time in your head you will not describe it you will just see it and you have choice either to judge to evaluate what is it when you need it but you can also just remain and observe it without doing something by observing what it really is Thank you for watching this video, leave a like, comment, share this video and subscribe my channel. Bye bye!